It's coming in thick and fast this time of year and I expect it's going to be the same at your place as well if you do grow veg. Now we've been harvesting onions literally for two days now and putting them into storage. This is the last lot that I've got to dry out. Now bolotti beans. Our bolotti beans are ready and lots of them. Now this video is about a must-have tool that you need in the kitchen, an off-grid tool called a spong bean slicer. Come with me. So what is a spong bean slicer? Well it's a wonderful hand-cranked little machine that cuts up beans at a phenomenal rate. So this actual bean slicer dates back to about 1935-ish, could be a little bit later, and I refurbished it myself. So I cleaned it all up, sharpened all the, the blades up, and repainted it in traditional tra I repainted it in tradition um, in lead paint which doesn't seem to have um, affected me what's... no, I haven't really painted it in lead paint. <laughs> it's been done in enamel paint. <laughs> and um, to keep it all nice and, and rust free, because it is made of cast iron. This is a number 633 Bean Slicer by Spong & Co Limited, made in England. Now for those that are not familiar with the term made in England, it's manufactured here in our own country, not to be confused with Ch, I don't last five minutes, Ina. James Osborne Spong was born in 1839 in Northampton, and in 1856, at just the age of 16, James founded Spong & Co, operating from 226 High Holborn, London. The company specialised in what they called back in the day domestic machinery, which was basically just kitchen utensils, from grinders to mincers and slicers. Now in 1925, James Osborne Spong died at the age of 85. The company name continued way up till the 1980s. His premises in Holborn, London, is now a Costa Coffee and I think he actually would have liked that because he also made coffee grinders. Now we know a little bit about the history of the Spong bean slicer let me take it apart so you can see how the mechanism works. So you have to hold the blade in place, turn the handle anti-clockwise until that comes off and then you can release the cutting blades from below. And there we go. You can see them blades very sharp there. And you can see it uses these where you pass the beans through this face to do all the cutting. Now just before I cut these bolotti beans up, you do normally grow these for the actual seed inside. But if you pick them when they're young and tender like that, you can actually use them like runner beans. Now let's see how fast we can actually cut the beans in this. It's a lot faster than doing it by hand. Now this is actually a deluxe model because it's got two bean feeding holes in it, whereas others only have one. Ooh, deluxe, eh? So 
So you can see the speed that it actually cuts. And look at that. Perfect diagonal slices. So this is for tonight's dinner. But these beans over here, we're going to preserve them in a very old fashioned way. We are going to be preserving them in salt. Salted beans. So I also have some other spong equipment. This is a, a Spong 630 slicer. Sadly, I wasn't able to get the slicing bit with this. It's sort of um, a long sort of blade that can slice cucumbers. That's what it could probably do, yeah. But I've only got the grating ones in here. Two different sizes of graters. But still grates at a phenomenal rate. I use this for carrots when I'm making big batches of coleslaw and also I've used it for grating cheese. Absolutely fantastic. Now if you want these spawn equipment for your kitchen, if you want them, just go on eBay. Type in spawn kitchen equipment or spawn slicer, grinder, whatever you want, bean slicer. And there's a lot on there. The company was going for many years and producing a lot, a lot of equipment. So it's still all out there and it's still possible to get some very nice examples that probably won't even need refurbishing either. Just a good clean-up will do. So, that brings us to the end of a, another video. Just a quick one there for you lot. I wanted to thank you all for sticking by me and watching this channel. Thank you so much. It really is appreciated. Now you all need to take care and look after yourself and um, keep well. See you soon. Fucking flies. Got the little sod. <laughs> that served you right. Getting on my tits. Right, where was I? <laughs> <laughs>